Howdy team, what is up? I'm in Switzerland right now. We have made our way to the Vierwaldstätte Z so far and we want to go like three hours further into Switzerland. We have to pass the Gotthard Tunnel. We always stop at this very point to watch the sunset with the great colors and uh, just the amazing view in the evening. So take a look for yourself. <music> It's 9.45 a.m. in the morning and we are at the cable car station which will take us to 1900 meters above the sea level. I was told that we will still be able to see some snow and ice there and some glaciers so I'm pretty excited. As always we're gonna do a quick montage to get up there. Whew. I'm walking out of the cable car station. I see a quite disturbing sign. If you see any bombs, do not pick them up. We'll take you. Uh, I, I mean, I would have taken them as a souvenir back to Germany. There is a big map next to the station, so we're gonna take a look where we are right now and where we wanna go. That is where we are right now, Robbie A. And that is where we wanna go to the Kristalliner Hütte. So this is 2575 meters above the sea level and maybe we're gonna go up there, but we don't know yet. And all these little blue dots, there, 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 and there, these are all the dams they use to, you know, produce electricity. We already have found one very, very distinctive thing of these regions and it's, it's just an you know, a water fountain, a water spring, a fresh alpine water. You can actually just go here and fill up your water bottle. It's amazing water. It's better than any water you can buy anywhere in any store. A few inches later. <laughs> Doggy, I'll teach you how to bark. Yeah. You better go hide. So that's another one of my unknown talents. I know how to Talk dog. We've encountered our first problem. The path was actually supposed to go down there, but maybe you can see it. The bridge is kind of broken. So we decided to not go down there, but find another path that maybe leads around these mountains. So uh, we'll see where it takes us. Right behind me, Timo, we have the second alpine hiking tip. If water rises, run away. That's not a joke, guys. It's freaking dangerous. The tales were true, Timo. We still have some snow left. So it's time for a snow fight. Okay, I've got my snowball here, but I'm carrying my camera in my left hand and my right hand is my not so good hand, but uh, we will see. <laughs> Almost. Well, apparently we also have to look out for some stones falling from the sky. Let's hope we won't get it. But even so, I've got a stone proof skull. So come at me, stone. Small update, Timo. We are now at 2100 meters above sea level. We have around 500 meters left. And another small update, Timo. We have made it to the cabin. That's where we're gonna sleep tonight. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. This is just an old ruin. It was built a few hundred years ago. Why not start building it up again? Let's do it, Timo. That's good for now. So tell me, dear frog. Okay, maybe another time? Y'all probably saw the street and you were like, Ugh, street, that's not alpine hiking, Timo, what are you doing? But let me show you what we really are hiking up here. It's crazy. Right now we're taking a break with the beautiful Studentenfutter and the beautiful Pfefferbeißer and uh, some bread. I almost forgot to show you the Rivella I also had during my break. Woo. That just gave me an idea, Timo. Let's do some bottle flipping in the Alps. Yes! Now we're only one hour away from the cabin up there. We can actually already see the cabin and uh, we have a beautiful look over the whole valley. You can see the glacier up there. In the Alps you can actually very often find waypoint markers made of stones put on top of each other. And right now we're at a pretty huge one. Take a look. And we can once more do our duty. There you go, liebe Steinmännchen. Keep growing, keep being awesome. 
And there's actually a helicopter coming up here right now. Let's take a look. Yo! You can see the top of the helicopter. Crazy! Whoo! Wow! Yo! Yo! In the back you can see another lake and it's full of ice and snow and that's where we have to go and then we have yeah, blah, blah. We have to go down there first and then we have to go back up there and maybe you can see the cabin in the back there I think it's this one so as you know my brother always has amazing ideas the moment he saw those snow fields he had the idea to just take a plastic bag and surf down the snow field oh that's gonna be freaking crazy fast because this is actually very oh whoa, whoa. So, and before you go down there with a plastic bag, you should probably do some preparations like, uh, you know, fasten, fasten your jacket so you are not full of snow afterwards. My bottom is already wet. <laughs> Second step, getting started. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yo, yo. Whoa. The thing I wanted to prevent by fastening my jacket didn't really work. We were able to find a second bag, so now we're gonna do a race. A race between Timo and Toby. Wow! Oh, I almost slipped. Uh, one, uh, two, uh, three. Ah! Yeah! Yeah! Whoa! Whoa! Ah! Yeah! Okay, to have the right comparison, we will switch the bags and then we'll see if it's the bags or if it's the drivers. And I have the smaller bag and my brother now has the bigger bag. No, 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 you can't go yet, mate. <laughs> not, sorry, not sorry, yet. Sorry. One. Go. Oh, yeah, that's not fair. That's not fair. <laughs> no, no, no. I guess we can now come to the conclusion that it, it indeed was the, the bag and not the driver. After this nerve wracking, adventurous, dangerous race, we're now gonna go to the cabin up there. So we're gonna cross the snowfields now, and it's time for another little montage. Woohoo! <laughs> You see, Timo, that is the. I don't know. I don't know the vocabulary anymore. One second. 12 seconds later. Damn, Timo! That is the sign that leads to the cabin. And you can see it's up here on the stone. Well, actually, um, you were supposed to walk like one and a half meters down there, but now we're up here. So, but you can still see the sign, so everything's okay. The path is actually supposed to go like this, but I'm um, uh, snow, so uh, we will go a little bit down and then we're gonna cross and then we can continue the path. It's getting steeper and steeper and steeper. How are we supposed to get across here? Oh, now, now it just looks like it's not steep at all. Perfect, but that's how it actually is. Almost there, Timo. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's super quiet. Just a little bit of water running, but that's it. And everything else that you hear, that's you. Like you make the sound. It's amazing. There it is, there's our destination. That's it for today guys. I know I wasn't able to upload something last week, but that was because of where I was. I mean, you saw it in the video. It was very difficult to get any good internet there, like any service at all. I was super happy to be able to show you my adventures this week, and I'm also excited to show you my other adventures during that time next week. The question I have for you today is whether you like the beach and the ocean better, or if you like hiking in the mountains. I like both. I love surfing, I love hiking, I love skiing. So write it in the comments down below what your favorite thing is to do. I'll see you next week. But remember, Timo, we are one. 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 And together we can make a difference. Timo!